the contest between Sydney on Wednesday night, taken something from that. Sydney similarly was, you know, you'd say somewhat undersized and undermanned a team with... The Caps have been, uh, obviously, uh, struggled for wins this season. It, it really has come down to their uh, poor first quarters as Matty Rocci drives hard inside. Count the points, she'll go to the line for an extra. Halfway through this first quarter, Jackson v Pizzi. <laughs> what a matchup and what an opportunity it is for Beck Pizzi. She had no answers there for the GOAT. Get it into LJ at the high post. She gets a nice flash from her low post buddy in Thornton. It's Shanice Swain with the three ball. I see Thornton had, a, had Munger on her back demanding the ball down low. Didn't get it. Goes into LJ. Good defence from Pizzi, but oh, Jackson, just too good. That's impossible to defend. Thornton again. Too big, too strong. Then gets the offensive rebound and absolutely makes sure of it. And it is now that 20-point differential halfway through the second quarter. Tough fade away. Still can't get it to go. Neither team scored yet with two and a half played in this third quarter. Burrell might end that drought, though. With a phone laser. You know, six points in this... Well, four points. Yeah, six points in this, in this half, which is solid, but we see Thornton oh. just go to work. I mean, that is just all class. Two of the best young guards in Australia, and Rochi turns it over to another great young guard in Swain. Has Munger to her left, uses her, catches, shoots, and knocks it down. With eight to shoot. Goes to work, fades away, that's tough. And it drops! <laughs> that is a bonkers shot from Ray Burrell. Blitzards. Two minutes to go. Kicks it out. Rochi for three. Hits. <laughs> oh, hoping for one more shot here. Brit Smart pulls up. And can't get it to go. And that is a funny old WNBL result for the Southside Flyers. They were dominant for three quarters. Absolutely dominant.